Hi there, my friends. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to make this and many more beading patterns quickly and absolutely free. So stay with me. One of my most popular videos is how to create your own beading pattern. In that video, I showed you various methods such as downloading free graph paper with different stitches and drawing it by hand or using programs like Photoshop, Paint, Canva or similar software. I also mentioned super easy free software for beginners. Today, I want to present the second part of that video where I will show you how to make a custom pattern using Beat Tool 4. This is a professional beading software with a free version that you can use to create your own patterns. However, if you want to save and export your projects professionally and sell them as digital products, you should consider buying the pro version. The price is around $50, which is quite reasonable for lifetime access with all future updates. Okay guys, and before I start creating my pattern, let me show you some of the basic options. This pane could move, you could switch between the percentages, make it smaller, make it larger, and then click between your first two choices. Here you could switch between square stitch, loom stitch, they are basically the same, brick stitch, gourd stitch, peyote stitch and from 2 drop to 9 drop peyote, also tubular peyote, right angle weave with 1, 2 and 3 beads. Ok, so these are the basic stitches that you could use. You can't combine the stitches, but maybe if you do it in different program, if you export the top and the bottom part, let's say of a fringe earrings, uh, you will be able to do this. Now let's go to the palette and see what we have here. You could switch between different suppliers of beads like Mayuki, Pony Bead, Preciosa Bead, Tohu Beads and so on. You could have custom palettes like here and I will show you later how to create custom palettes. Now when you switch you have here your palettes, you could search by color and you could search by number. Ok, when I switch back here I could choose let's say brick stitch, I could you know increase and decrease the paint size from here and also from here. And let me walk you also through these tools that we have here. The first one is the pencil tool. Let's say you grab one color and you could draw with it like this. If you don't like how it looks, you could grab the eraser and remove some of the beads. Then you could take the selection tool select here and go to Control c or you could use here from edit Control c and Control v for copy and paste then move it here the way you like it and go Control v and it's here and if you want to get rid of this selection just, just click away Ok, let me go to the pencil tool and grab a different color, then another one. And when the colors are too much, you might forget which one you used. That is why we have a color picker tool. Ok, so when I click here, it brings me back to the pencil tool and I could add with this color some shape. What we have next is this bucket tool and we can fill in these shapes here like that with the color that is chosen. If I want I can choose different color, go back here and fill it in like that. I have a free drawing tool that makes straight or... I have here a triangular tool and also 
diamond shape tool and you have other shapes as well that you could use in your projects okay so these are the main functions of the these instruments and now i want to click on new and create my pattern it will ask me if i want to save it but this is if you have the pro version if you don't it won't allow you to save it but now well, i won't save it and i have another blank space to work with okay guys and let me now start creating my pattern i have a special palette here that i did for this pattern i'm using mayuki delica beads 11 ounce size and these four colors i will show you later how to create your own palette so let me start first picking up the pencil tool and the red color and now i want to draw something like a diamond shape then i will grab the yellow color and click here and after that the green one and i will go like this surrounding with green beads then again i want to grab the yellow and i will continue drawing faster you could do whatever shape and pattern that you like Okay guys, and now I want to show you something, because I want to draw here more, but there is no space, I should move my pattern. How I do this, I go to pattern, then I go to shift and say, let me shift it down. Don't worry that it looks like this. When you click again, it will be fixed, but I want it going down and you could also move it right or move it left okay so i want it here now i will continue working okay and now my pattern is ready what else i could do is to go here and say repeat it right now i will go to undo okay what else you could do is to trim it now let me show you some export options if i go here to file and export i could choose to export the pattern and you see here you have multiple options that you could choose from and also the size that you want to export in and uh, if you want lighting effects and so on i personally like the lighting effects so this is one option to export it now i will give cancel another option for export is the bead list and you could also save it here as a palette let's say palette 2 i will save it to custom and another thing you could do with this export option is to export the word chart which is the rows the beads and the numbers if you want you could have it in separate sheet if i go here to free transform i can remove the lines around my work and export it just like a picture which is a cool feature another thing you could do is go to preview and add different elements according to what you want to export you could export it like this with the legend and with the chart 
you have a second page with the word chart and you could go to layouts and choose between different layouts or you could create your custom layout if you want so there are a lot of options but don't worry everything I say there is a special tutorial for it on the BitTool4 website so you will be able to find every option that I'm talking about in more details and another thing that is useful is the library and all the patterns that I showed you in the beginning are in this library and you can switch between them they are really cool and of course if you want to save your work you could choose to save it in your patterns and give it a name and you could save it and when you browse library and go to custom patterns you could switch between the patterns that you did you see I saved this one twice but I have this one as well here you also have stamps that you could choose between and use them and you have custom palettes and stock palettes and I already showed you the this one and if you want to create a new folder it's down there here maybe you won't be able to see it first time I missed it by the way another thing you could do is that you could transfer a picture and I will show you this one as a last I I won't be using it a lot but maybe some of you will be interested in this feature that is why I go to new and I want to increase a little bit my pain here now I want to go to picture and choose let's say my logo open it now there is a hand so you could move it wherever you want and you could resize it the way you want uh, now what you can do is go to transfer and here you have different options nearest color or popularity also you can switch between palettes and choose how many colors you want you see the greens are, are, are acceptable and the grays and the red ones are not acceptable so also you could choose here this option and when I click begin it doesn't look good but when you play with the options it will start looking good besides what you could do is just correct it a little bit to make it look better according to your taste as I said I'm not using this feature a lot but it's a good idea uh, if you want to start your pattern from to import a picture okay so this was all for me all the links guys and all the resources that I mentioned are down in the description my previous video and a link to BitTool4 and everything you need if you have any questions about the options don't hesitate to ask me in the comments and another announcement that I want to make is that I will create a lot of patterns for you some of them will be free some of them will be for the members of my channel and now I'm creating a website Website. when the website is ready they will be free and section especially for the members with other patterns thank you again click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching